This is Bo, and welcome back to Baguette Basics. In this series of videos, we're covering all of the steps to create a classic French baguette right in your own kitchen. Previously, we covered pre-fermentation, making the dough, and bulk fermentation. Please click here to see the previous video. In this segment, we will shape the baguette dough, perform the final fermentation, and then finally bake. While pretty straightforward, time is of the essence. Try your best to stay close to the recommended times, which are going to be noted on the screen as we progress. Also, please take a moment to subscribe. You'll help support my channel so that I can bring more content like this to you. And leave a comment that you subscribed, and I'll do my best to respond. And so if you're ready, let's get started. Alright, so continuing from where we left off in the previous video, dump the dough out onto the counter. From here, we're going to split the dough into three equal portions. Each portion will be for one baguette, and the weight will be about 380 grams each. <coughs> Flour the top of the dough, and then use your bench knife to cut off a piece. You're going to put this on the scale and weigh it out, and then add more pieces if necessary to achieve the desired weight. If your dough is sticky to the touch, just dust your hands with a little bit of flour. And once you've weighed out your first piece of dough, you're going to shape it into a ball. Degas it and then flip it over. And now you're going to perform a series of stretching folds where you pull the edge out and then towards the middle. Do that from all sides and then roll it up into a ball. You're going to perform little quarter turns while you're pulling the dough. Doing so will create surface tension. Repeat this with the remaining dough until you have three pieces, and then cover with plastic and let it sit for about 15 minutes. And after 15 minutes, take out the couche and add some flour to it. After the 15 minute rest, it's time to perform the final shape and the final proof. Degas the dough and flour your hands if necessary to prevent sticking. After that, you're going to pull the sides out to form roughly a rectangular shape. And then starting with the top edge of the dough, you're going to fold it to the halfway point and then use your fingers to gently press. Use a very light touch. Flip it over and then do the same thing. And now we're going to fold the dough over our thumb, down the length of the dough. You do this by folding the dough over your thumb and then using your other hand to seal the dough. Check the seam, and if any parts are still open, just pinch it shut. Now it's time to roll this dough into its final shape. Start from the middle with cupped hands and apply light pressure. And with a rolling motion, pull your hands apart. This will start to elongate the dough. If you're finding the dough to be very stiff, then just give it a few more minutes of rest. Now keep doing this until you've reached the desired length. In this case, I'm going for 20 inch baguettes, 20 to 22 inch. You can also use half the amount, so remember here I'm using 380 grams. You can use half of that to make baguettes half the size if you have a smaller pizza stone. And after you're done, flour it and place it seam side up onto the couche. Here is a piece of dough that's about 190, 200 grams. And same thing, you're going to degas.
And then I'm going to flip it over and fold the top half towards the middle. Using gentle pressure with your fingertips, you're creating some tension by doing this. And then you flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Now using your thumb, make sure your thumb is slightly dusted so it doesn't stick. Using your thumb, roll the dough over and use your other hand, your palm, to seal the dough. I typically seal the dough in this fashion once and sometimes twice. It really depends on how the dough feels. If there's good tension and there's a lot of spring to the dough, then one time is fine. If the dough feels kind of flat, then I'll do it twice. I've had good results either way. Here are a few more angles of me rolling out the dough. Again, I'm slightly cupping my hands and pushing down with light to moderate pressure. And as I'm rolling, I'm spreading my hands apart, which will spread the dough apart. Now the sound that you hear is the sound of the palm of my hand sliding across the surface of the table. This is just me, but I tend to maintain constant contact with the table with the palm of my hand. Doing so serves more or less as a guide, so I don't put too much pressure. And now that we have all of the baguettes on the couche, it's time for the final fermentation. This will take about 45 minutes or less. So you're gonna to want to start the oven about 30 minutes into your final rise. Set it at 475 degrees Fahrenheit. So about 10 minutes prior to baking, you're going to prepare the steaming pan and steam the oven up. I prefer to use cotton towels, all white cotton towels. Try to avoid towels with dyes as they will bleed out in the hot water. And definitely don't use synthetic fibers as they'll melt. Uh, to this I add about three cups of water. I like to use hot water from a kettle to speed up the process. While that's happening, you can start to transfer the baguette dough from the couche onto the pizza peel. I like to use parchment paper. You can get multiple uses out of the parchment paper. Make sure the seam side is down and straighten the baguettes if necessary. To score the baguette, support the baguette with one hand while using the lime to cut diagonal slices. Make sure they overlap across the top. Here you can see that the lime is sticking to the dough. I slightly overproof this dough, and when you do so, you kind of weaken the structure of the dough and the lime will, will, will stick. The flavor will still be fine, it'll just be slightly off, aesthetically. Here's an example of dough that was not overproofed, and you can see how easy I slice it. When the steam starts escaping out of the oven, you know it's ready. Carefully transfer the baguettes to the pizza stone. When you open that oven door, the steam is going to be very hot, so just be careful. Make some final arrangements if necessary, and close the door. Bake it for 15 minutes at 450 degrees. After that time, you're going to take out the pan and continue baking at 425 for another 10 to 15 minutes. I aim for a deep golden color before taking them out of the oven. And then once you take them out, let them rest on the cooling rack for about 20 minutes or so, and then dig in. So this concludes the three-part Baguette Basics series. I've enjoyed making it and hope that you find enough value to give it a go. The learning curve is steep and sometimes frustrating, but it's worth it. The techniques will apply to other types of breads. In fact, after cutting your teeth on baguette making for a while, cool. other types of breads will be simple to make in comparison. Yeah, Thank you for tuning in, and until next time, we'll make food.